Hello everybody, I'm Curtis and in this video I'm going to show you how to build a small to medium dinosaur pen in Ark in under 5 minutes. This will house your small to medium sized dinosaurs and allow you to let them wander and have a great looking little pen. I personally use this for my dodos and dillos because I am a repeated offender for taming these creatures because I'm a sucker for their awesome colours. Nevertheless, I promised you guys an Ark video and here it is. And in the next art video, I will show you how to build a huge dinosaur pen that will home your bigger dinosaurs and look awesome. To start, what you want to do is build this on a nice flat area where the terrain is not at an incline, as this can be quite problematic. And also, you may want to build this inside your main base, unless you can defend it with Plant Species X or other defensive structures. But generally, you want a nice flat area to build upon. I use Thatch Foundation for the main dinosaur building in this pen and I do it as 2x4. Now you can choose to make it smaller or bigger if you want to, it's completely up to you and that came out completely wrong. <laughs> Next I go two stories high of wooden walls making sure that two of them is a windowed wall and a wooden door frame. I use windows to start with but to be honest I'm not 100% on them and I may decide to take them out later. Next, we throw some fat roofing down to give it that chicken pen vibe. It's all about the positive vibes, man. Just plonk that right there. So far, so good. It's starting to look the part. Next, we build wooden foundations, making sure that we start and end on either side of the chicken pen. How big or small you make this pen is completely up to you. Ultimately, it's your call. I like a medium-sized build for this sort of pen, so it can house around six to eight dinosaurs, and obviously they're only going to be small dinosaurs, so, but I also want to make sure that it looks like they have enough space to walk around in and got enough room. I'm, I'm all about that realism, boys. Okay, so this next part, what we do is we use a sloped thatch wall right and left and we place a sloped thatch roof on the outside. God, that was a mouthful. But we're going to delete the outside ones later on. But for now, it makes snapping the roof on top of the chicken pen a lot easier. This game's building snapping almost reminds me of Fallout 4's. <laughs> Now it's really looking the part. As you can see, I decided to remove the door frame and just went for a big wall size gap and added a wooden ramp. Now remove a section of foundation for the dino gate to be placed. I quite like having it right next to the chicken pen as part of it clips through the building and I quite like the look of it. Happy accident. <laughs> now just pop the gate on there with a, a bit of a phalo white. Next we'll finish up by placing railings all around the wooden foundations but we're going to make sure that we leave a gap on the outside so we can place a wooden ramp so that we can get up and walk around the pen. And finally the last two steps just require you to place a feeding trowel and to put some dinosaurs in there. My only wish on this game was the ability to dig the ground or to make some sort of water source for the dinosaurs like an actual pond or a lake for them. I think it would give it a great look aesthetically without building like right next to the sea. But alas, you can't do that, which is a shame. But maybe one day. Maybe one day. Thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. If you did like the video and it did help you, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a dislike. Criticise me. I'm always open to feedback. My next big arc build will be in a couple of days' time, which will be like a massive dinosaur pen. But it's not going to be out tomorrow or the next day because I've got some Fallout videos that I need to do. And that's the point. If you're here just for this art video and you don't actually know who I am or what I do, check out some of my videos. You might like what you see. Thanks for watching, guys, and peace.